thanks. Welcome everyone to our Empowering Founders series. This is actually number two of the Empowering Founders series. And today we have Karen Finch from Legal EOS. Uh, my name is Atula Bogota, I'm lead organizer of Melbourne Silicon Beach and a few other Silicon Beaches. Um, Karen was actually the 11,000th Silicon Beach uh, back in late 2018. So there you are, she's, she's very special and had been <laughs> organizing a lot of events for us, legally yours, uh, virtual uh, legal lunch and learn sessions, which you can find on our meetup page. I'm not going to do uh, any further introductions because Karen is quite capable of introducing herself. Um, I'll put myself on mute. Karen, take it away. You can share your screen as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Atula. And thank you um, for the opportunity to be, um, to be talking about Legally Yours. Um, so let me get this going. Just one second. Okay, it's just coming up. Can everyone? everyone yeah. Okay. okay, all right, fantastic. So, so today I really wanted to have um, a chat, obviously to let you all know a little bit about, more about Legally Yours and who we are and what we do, um, but also about how we, the industry itself has been creating greater access to legal services during all this COVID-19 craziness. Um, so it's the crazy COVID world as we, we're talking about today. Um, so I wanted to play a little video first for everybody because, um, you know, when we talk about lawyers and we think about lawyers, there's lots of stereotypes and probably a little bit of PR, um, you know, issues with, with what people think about lawyers. So this was a video that I filmed with one of my close friends. Um, and we in this, we really talk about some of the stories. This was um, actually filmed a couple of years ago, but I think it's still um, incredibly relevant. So Sam, let's talk with the legal industry. What do you see as the main barriers of why people don't like lawyers? I think billing is a major issue. Clients have no idea what they're going to be billed and um, the fees are usually a big surprise. I know so many people who've engaged in lawyers and then had to mortgage their houses at the end of a settlement and I think that's crazy. And unfortunately that's not an isolated story and that's probably not even the most extreme. You know some of the stories that I hear about is where a, a person approached me and said that they felt they'd built up this really amazing rapport with their lawyer. It was in a matrimonial matter and they called them up one time, the lawyer had just got back from holiday and they were having this lovely chat and that was all wonderful, finished the call and a couple of weeks later she received an invoice for that call and it was actually talking about the lawyer's holiday so you know it's it, it absolutely it's shocking. baffles me and yeah. you know what she paid that invoice she absolutely joking. paid no she paid that invoice and this is what really surprises me because the community is trained to expect this type of behavior from lawyers and I think another thing that really annoys me is the way that lawyers will tend to use a lot of legal jargon they won't educate their clients around their matters absolutely I think you know girlfriends yeah. of mine have said to me I'm I'm too afraid to approach a lawyer. Yeah. You know, they've got no uh, customer care. Uh, they don't feel like they've got their needs um, at, at their best interest. So I think that is a major issue. Absolutely. We wouldn't accept it from our doctors. We wouldn't accept it from our mechanics, all other service industries. We, we would not accept that type of, um, you know, terrible client care. And I guess that's what Sam and I are here to talk to you about today because you actually have the power to change it. You can demand more from your lawyers. You don't have to put up with this type of behaviour. Lawyers can only practice if clients are willing to pay. And that's why we created the Legally Yours Marketplace as an alternative for you to actually get connected and matched with fixed fee lawyers. We can make a change. So we're calling on all of you to demand more from your lawyers. So don't put up with it anymore. Send a really clear message to the legal fraternity that you don't want lawyers that aren't fixed fee, that don't care about their clients and don't have good customer service skills. By using the Legally Yours Marketplace, we will match you with a fixed fee lawyer who will give you good customer service, guaranteed. So give the Legally Yours Marketplace a go. We're here to help and you can make a difference. So 
So thanks for indulging me in that. But the reason I sort of wanted to share that was because there are the legal industry does have a really bad PR problem when it comes to clients. Um, and this sort of leads me on to the why, um, why we started Legally Yours. So going back in time, we, we actually launched in 2014. And back then, what we were seeing was that overseas, this sort of trend of fixed fee and value-based pricing and different ways of pricing was really coming into fruition, but it hadn't actually reached Australia um, at that particular point in time. So Australia was still very much stuck within the sort of traditional billable hours and that was the way that they were communicating um, with their clients. So we knew that that overseas trend was happening and would one day reach Australian shores. We didn't actually think it would take probably as long as it has, but um, anyway, it's slowly sort of coming through. Um, but the other thing, we knew back then that there were statistics that were saying 70% of people globally, they estimate, that have legal problems actually don't go and see lawyers. They would rather go and see somebody else um, for their legal need. And we were really interested to find out, well, well, why? If you have a legal problem, why won't you go to lawyers? And so literally that set us on a um, complete sort of research study where we spoke to every single person we encountered, families, friends, people on the streets, every networking business event. Um, we kept asking that same question over and over again about what is it that prevents you from seeing a lawyer? So three things came out back in those early days. And that's what we knew, whatever we built Legally Yours on, it had to basically solve these three problems. So the first one was fear. And that's what we talked a little bit about in that video, that the general perception for a, a, a mum and dad or a client or a person in the community of a lawyer is there's a lot of fear. Fear around um, transparency in terms of fees, but also there's, Often people were making comments that when I go and see a lawyer, I don't understand what that process is. They haven't explained things to me. So we knew that there was a fear of price, but what they were really talking about was communication um, and those sorts of things. So it was really trying to look at, well, how do we make sure that people feel like they're being communicated, transparent and certain with those things. So we knew that was number one. And for us, the fixed fee and the value-based pricing was what was really important. Um, the other thing that came out really strongly was the knowledge. And it's really interesting because, um, you know, a lot of people will say that the legal industry is quite a secretive or guarded um, industry. What we actually know from what we've done with community through legal education is the more you educate people around legal, they will engage because they feel empowered to engage. Um, and so it's really about sort of letting them know when they have a legal problem who they can go to and what the process looks like is, is exceptionally um, important. And then accessibility. So that was the other thing that we um, found was that people didn't know how to find the right lawyer for them. So obviously you can Google, I need a lawyer, um, or you can even list jobs on sort of non-legalised, non-legal specialised um, platforms. What does that mean? What do you get? There's no value in that conversa conversation. You don't know who the lawyer necessarily, you know, how they invoice, how they communicate. Are they going to be the right trusted expert for you? So we knew that whatever we created, we really had to, um, you know, overcome those three, three things. So 2020, what do we do today? So essentially, no Google search required when you use the Legally Yours platform. So a client is able, and I, my next slide is actually taking you through a little bit about how easy it is. So in less than a minute, you can, as a consumer, navigate through to a lawyer, to a couple of matches. You'll see that um, they've got the right experience. We vet all our lawyers. So one of the things that we guarantee when a client uses one of our Legally Yours lawyers as part of our network is that we've vetted them. So by that, what I mean is, is that we do background research on them. We, we meet them and we check them out. That's obviously virtually happening today. So I really get to communicate with them and make sure that, you know, they're on board with our philosophy. We look at their pricing structures to make sure that they are doing what we guarantee clients, which is that transparent fixed fee, value-based pricing services, service delivery. Um, so really what we're saying to clients is come through, you get that guarantee. But the other really wonderful thing that we do as well is that we present our lawyers in a very human way. So when you get the matches, you can actually go in and then you can actually look at their photo, read what they do outside of the law. You can actually watch a video with them to see how they communicate because we know 
when you engage with a lawyer, you want to make sure that you're comfortable, that they're the trusted expert for you and that you can really have that seamless, comfortable communication, which is really important. The other thing we're really big on doing, and we've been doing lots of this with the Silicon Beach community, is the free legal education. So as I alluded to before, Legally Yours, essentially, we believe that if you can educate clients in legal education, you empower them to engage. So lots of free masterclasses, lots of free um, you know, sessions on all sorts of different topics, because we really want clients to understand legal and then understand where they need to go to um, get the assistance they require. As I mentioned, it's all vetted um, in terms of the lawyers and none of them will give you bill shock. And one of the things that's happened, so when we first started talking about fixed fee and value-based pricing in 2014, um, we had a lot of confused, confused looks from the lawyers that we were talking to. Over the years, um, it's really gained momentum. Um, and, you know, now we are just seeing an absolute thirst for knowledge for lawyers to understand, you know, how they can price in this way, how they can deliver their legal services virtually and differently and remotely. And obviously with um, COVID hitting, um, it's even more important that they're, they're on top of all of that. So we really feel like as a whole, the legal industry is changing um, and changing for the better. So this is just a quick little video, which I'll talk you through. Um, and this is showing how you can actually, how quick and easy it is to find a lawyer. So consumers hop on, they go in, they can talk about what they need help with. So this person's um, selected my business and they're looking for someone to help them with their startup. So they've gone into that area. Then they can type in where they actually are based and where they potentially need it. Although we do know most lawyers can work virtually nationally, depending on the area of law. Then as they go in, they can, they can scan through, they get three matches, but they can refresh so they can get more and more of the people there and you'll see some of the lawyers. And there's the wonderful Anthony Curtin, who's actually doing a session for us um, on Monday with the Silicon Beach community. So you can see that's a video. So if you were to click on that video, you'll actually see a lovely conversation with me and Anthony and you can get a really good idea from that video about his personality, how he communicates to say, yes, I want to call back. And then from there, it's as simple as, okay, I'm going to type in. Um, that's the lawyer that I would like a complimentary virtual chat with and they will call you back within um, the uh, 48 hours that we guarantee that they'll get contact from. So it's as simple as that. And if you'll notice, that was in a minute exactly that they were able to navigate through um, and find. So our solution for clients of what we're providing. So fast, easy, convenient access. So this was really important for us. It's a really simple platform and we purposely made it really simple because we want people to feel comfortable. We want people to be able to access the information that they need, see it, make it flow through. So when we were designing our platform, we designed it from a client perspective um, of what they want to do, what language they talk in and how they want to kind of see it all presented. Again, no bill shock. That's the guarantee. When you connect with a lawyer in our network, you will get no bill shock. And uh, we monitor and manage that process as well so that clients at all times feel supported through that process. We provide them with transparency and certainty in those fees. And the other thing I really love, which I mentioned about the video, is so clients can actually watch how lawyers communicate before selecting them. And I think, um, you know, certainly from all the research that we do and continue to do today, clients talk about it doesn't matter whether it's for a will or whether it's for, you know, a piece of complex um, commercial litigation. Clients need to be able to feel comfortable and be able to communicate properly with their lawyer. It's a massive trust relationship. Um, and we would say billable hours often is prevents that from happening because if you're not being upfront, clients tend to pull back and, you know, talking to a lot of lawyers, they'll say, you know, if I'm not, if, if you're on the clock, clients tend to shut down because they don't want to talk to you because they're worried about the, the clock ticking over and the billing ticking over. So, um, you know, for us, that sort of being able to present our lawyers in that way is just fantastic. They get the free um, phone or video call, um, contact within the 48 hours, as I mentioned. Free, the free legal education masterclass seminars events, you know, at the moment, I think I'm doing two or three a week um, of those, I find them incredibly important because people, as I mentioned, need to understand 
um, these, these complex issues and they need to understand where to go. Um, and I'm incredibly proud of the work. And we host all of those on our YouTube channel and we've also got them on our blog page on our platform. And as I mentioned, we've got over 200 blogs and articles and they're all written by our lawyer members. They're not written by me, even though I'm a, um, I'm a qualified lawyer, but I'm a non-practicing lawyer. So we've got all that kind of free content um, for clients. So what do we do for lawyers? Um, so as I mentioned, we enable them to deliver transparent and virtual legal education services. So when a lawyer joins our network, um, they become part of an extraordinary community of what we call the new law movement. Um, and by that, what I mean is because we vet, and as I mentioned, I meet and talk to and really make sure that every lawyer in our network, which we've just clocked over to 100 Australia wide, they all have the same philosophy in terms of how they practice. So they're all fixed fee or value-based pricing or transparent and certain with their legal service delivery. And they're all about different ways of delivery. So interesting what's happened is, is that because we have created this extraordinary community of lawyers is now I'm beginning to find they're referring a lot of work to each other because you might have a family lawyer based in the middle of WA and they've got a client who needs a recommendation to a commercial lawyer they know in our network, they're going to have a lawyer that will be able to service them exactly like them. So it's this wonderful sort of inter-referral inter, um, inter network happening within our community. Obviously, we provide them with qualified online leads. And what I mean by qualified is that when we take our clients through a journey of a match, before they actually hit um, the one they want to go to or when they're presented with their matches, we actually have a little thing that says, would you like free legal services? Now, the reason we ask them that question um, is because if somebody wants free legals, they'll need to go through that pro bono um, platform with those pro bono services. And so we want to give people the opportunity that if that's where they need to go, scroll down, we let them know exactly what they need to do to qualify um, to get into that system. And if they're still keen to explore free legal, we actually have then a lovely sort of map of Australia where we've listed all the different pro bono services they can access state by state. So if then they're not in the pro bono, we now guarantee to our lawyers when they are selected um, to have a, a conversation and for them to be engaged, the client already knows they are going to pay. The guarantee that we give, um, I guess the client, is that they will be transparent and certain and they will know upfront. Um, so that's what we mean by the, the qualified um, to our lawyers. We also give our lawyers increased brand awareness. So I spend a lot of time talking on video to our lawyers, talking on social media about our lawyers um, and really letting people know that we've got this wonderful network of lawyers who are different and this is the reason why. And we've found some of our members have, have reported, you know, sort of 50, 60, 70 percent increase um, in their engagement with clients when a video is released, when we, you know, pump out, because it's, it's not them talking about themselves, it's us talking about them um, and really letting people know that they're the lawyers they need to go to. As I mentioned before, we've also got a referral network of like-minded lawyers that's, that they're doing a lot of business with each other as well. We put our lawyers on expert panels um, and we get them delivering legal education, which is really, really important because um, we want them to be known as the subject matter experts in their field. Um, and, and it's great to be able to deliver that free legal content and, and people then know who to go to um, when they've got particular problems. And we've also got a side community that we've developed, which is our channel partners. And they're essentially businesses that help support our lawyer networks to be the most amazing, you know, firms that they are. So, and that ranges from, you know, we, we channel partnered with people like, or businesses like Clarence, which is a co-working purpose built for lawyers. Um, you know, we are partnered with Innovum Group, which deliver um, work workshops to help lawyers refine their value and their value-based pricing agreements. Um, CX in Law are a channel partner and they talk about um, client experience and doing you know first impression tests and all sorts of things so that's what we're very passionate about too and obviously when you do join the legally yours community you are automatically known as being a member of the new law movement um, and we're incredibly proud of that so how are we helping today so we have helped thousands of clients since we launched our service in 2014. Um, the major, the, when we first started, it actually was manual. Um, and I and my co-founder and I were actually manually matching people. Um, and you know what? 
as, as labor intensive as it was, it was the most wonderful experience because we really got to speak to clients and understand them. And we got to really understand who the lawyers were. So that foundation of research um, and being able to really manually manipulate and understand what that system is enabled us to build the platform that we have now that we know um, hits the mark in terms of what everyone's wanting in terms of connection. So as I mentioned, we've now clocked over 100 um, in our network and I'm incredibly proud of that because it has taken a while. I think COVID's kind of inspired um, a bit more movement into this area, but um, it's, it's brilliant that we've got those lawyers that we can um, essentially deliver and, and promote to community. We have a wide range of legal expertise. So we're not just a commercial law service platform or an employment platform, we cover the full gamut. So right from all personal types of law, like wills, conveyancing, um, unfair dismissals, family law, right through to then corporate um, and commercial matters um, and more of your business startup law. So we've purposely done that because we recognise that every business owner may have a personal legal need um, and every person that may come onto the platform with a personal legal need may start a business or need a, a business lawyer at some point. So we don't discriminate um, and it's for everybody to use. We have lawyers based all across Australia. I did recently a video where I talked about, you know, we've got lawyers from Ballina to Ballarat, um, from Wodonga down to, um, oh, gosh, what was the other one? I can't remember, it's escaped me, but right over in Perth. So we're absolutely everywhere um, with our lawyers and I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of the, the regional lawyers and the city lawyers um, that, are, that are in our network. They all offer virtual legal services. So it's really interesting because when you start talking new law, a lot of people think in the, industry, in the legal industry that it must be technology. Um, technology is a big part of new law. It's not the only thing that makes somebody um, new law, but the technology seems to just come about because when, when these lawyers have started thinking about setting up their firms, they're thinking about how can they do it efficiently? How can they do it conveniently for their clients? And so technology really comes into it. So in actual fact, all of our lawyers offer virtual legal services. All, them, all of them are doing virtual coffee chats, consultations. Um, so it's absolutely brilliant. We've had a number of our lawyers really pivot um, when COVID hit. Um, they've started groups like um, one of our lawyers, Cara Austin, who's in regional um, New South Wales, started a um, coronavirus employment business support service group on Facebook and essentially goes live every day just talking about the issues that um, business owners are facing at the moment and how they can navigate through. Um, it, it's just been wonderful. Paul Cotts, another one of our lawyer members who's just doing podcast after podcast episode, um, all talking about, you know, the job seeker, talking about, um, you know, what businesses can do with their employees. So, it's, it's incredibly um, fantastic that they're really seeing COVID-19 as an opportunity to serve the community at this time um, and really make sure that they're present and people know where to go to. Um, and as I mentioned, all free legal content. So all of this they're, they're giving away for free, um, which I think is just incredibly um, brilliant. As I mentioned before, we do bridge the gap between paid and pro bono legal service offerings. Uh, a bit of a conundrum within legal is this missing middle. No one seems to be servicing the missing middle. And by that, what I mean is, is that you've obviously got the pro bono free legal services, and then you've got people that pay. And often that's, um, you know, people that access potentially big tier firms and, and sort of at the corporate end. And no one really has been able to sort of help that missing middle, that mum and dad that, you know, need the wills or, you know, going through a separation or starting a business at that level. And that's what we do. We really help um, bridge that gap um, and deliver to the lawyers that want to service that community. And just a little side note, we are a business for good. So every time a lawyer joins and every time a client um, requests a lawyer um, on our platform, we actually make a donation to B1G1. So B1G1 is um, an amazing business that you can actually um, tie certain aspects of your business to um, impacts. 
And so we um, make donations to schools in Cambodia. We do um, different projects around food and delivering that to the homeless. Um, because for us, we are an impact business. Um, and we believe that, you know, what we're doing is really going to um, help the accessibility to legal services and help people in need, but also really enhance the lawyers that want to have great whole life balance. Um, you know, they want to do good quality um, legal service delivery. And this is what we do. We help them become a part of that um, community. So this is just a really quick slide on why we love the Silicon Beach community, because I'm so grateful for the support both Atula and everyone else in the Silicon Beach community have provided to both myself as a founder, but also to Legally Yours. So Silicon Beach, since joining as that 11,000th member, has enabled us to fulfill our mission of increased accessibility to legal services. So um, I, think, I think we're up to our maybe ninth or 10th virtual legal education session that we've been doing with the Silicon Beach group. Um, and it's been amazing. We've delivered virtual sessions on, you know, employees versus contractors, we've in, um, employees, sorry, versus contractors. We've delivered sessions on trademarks. Um, on, we've got one coming up on protecting your IP. Um, we had one on COVID and the ATO tax debt. It's amazing stuff. So um, I can't thank Silicon Beach and Atula enough for that platform to let us, you know, continue fulfilling that mission. And the most, and, and another great thing to that is provided a platform for our lawyers to showcase their expertise, which I'm incredibly proud of too. So I come on, I facilitate and host the sessions, but absolutely by far, it's the lawyers um, that are the stars of the show. And it's provided us also with an opportunity to understand the community and your needs better because we get to hear you, we get to talk to you, we get to understand you. And I, someone has described me as being stubbornly curious and that's exactly what I am. I, I remain curious to understand um, you know, why, these, why accessibility is still causing problems. I want to improve. I really want Legally Yours um, to eventually, I guess, the vision being to be that platform that, you know, before someone Googles, I need a lawyer, they'll come into Legally Yours and they'll actually get value in terms of their connection and really be able to get through to the lawyer that's right for them, that is, could be their trusted advisor, communicates in a way um, for them. And it's just, yeah, that seamless transaction. So my ask today, I feel like I have been talking a lot, but my ask for today, please spread the word. Um, obviously we're recording this as well, but um, you know, it's, it's been amazing the journey that we've had. Every single client that has used Legally Yours has almost become a repeat client of Legally Yours. They always come back. Um, the feedback we get is incredible from our clients. They'll say, you know, it was such an easy process that the lawyer that they got, they've actually become very attached to. Um, all of that is just amazing. And it just shows, um, you know, I, I'm yet to hear a client say, I didn't like using the platform and I didn't like the lawyer that you connected me with. So absolutely spread the word because we know that it works. Um, and yeah, we just need to let people know. So we, we do want to become a bit of a, um, a household brand name. So again, as I said, don't use Google or a non-legal search platform, come and use us and help us become that household name um, and change the legal industry as well. I, I often, I deliver quite a lot of CPD content to lawyers. And in it, I always say to the lawyers at some point in my presentation that you can only practice law if you have clients to deliver it to. So if you as a lawyer or a law firm are not actually thinking about who your clients are, how they want their services delivered, um, you know, how they want it priced and how they want to be communicated to, eventually your clients are going to dry up. Um, and, and clients have a big part of that as well, because if they're only going to fixed fee or value-based pricing lawyers, if they are finding them through our platform, the legal industry will have to come on board and will have to start to make that change. And I'm really excited to say that it is happening. And there are so many incredibly brilliant, um, you know, fantastic lawyers out there. Um, there's a real change happening. There's been so much, you know, call to action and service. And um, yeah, so I'm really proud. So there's a bit of um, some connections. Um, you can connect with us on our platform. LinkedIn, um, I'm always sharing everything on there and lots of videos. So you can see me there, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that is me. So thank you so much for listening. Um, please reach out, connect, and I'm always here to chat. Um, but yeah, thank you for letting me share the story of Legally Yours. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay. Thanks for that. And thanks for the testimonial to Silicon Beach as well. It's, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> I'll, I'll share that around. 
Now, uh, just give me a second. I will, I will throw two questions. We can see a few people on the panel. I'll, uh, what I'll do is, uh, yeah, just, just a little bit about the Empowering Founders series because Silicon Beach is about empowering founders. As Karen said, you know, we are, we are here to spread the word for everyone and connect you to capital, connect you to co-founders, connect you to, you know, the general community. And uh, one way we do that is our pitch night. So in the pitch night, now we are going to select people from people who come and do a 90 second pitch to come and do an extended, uh, this is basically like an extended pitch empowering founder series, take you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes. And because we do get complaints from people, 90 seconds is not enough. What can you say in 90 seconds? But I think everyone should have a 90 second pitch in their pocket because you could run into a client or you run into an investor in the elevator, it's an elevator pitch. The term came from Silicon Valley because I think investors are going up and down elevators all the time. So <laughs> have a 90 second pitch and we will give you the opportunity if you get selected as pirates choice, we call ourselves pirates of Silicon Beach and I'm the admiral. Uh, if you get <laughs> selected, we will give you the opportunity to do something like this. It's another way that we are empowering founders and our big hairy audacious goal is to move Australia to number two startup nation in the world by 2025. I think we are well on our way. So thanks Karen and thanks everyone. Just stay, stay online. I'm just ending the recording for people who will be watching this on, uh, on Silicon Beach uh, TV on YouTube. Thanks. thanks.